I'm wearing the uh, the Geo blades this year. Um, obviously a new design. I tried them in in pre-season, and sometimes you just get that feel. I mean, obviously always been happy with the one glove stuff, and sometimes it just feels right. Everyone likes their own cuts, and this this one sort of was perfect for me. But I think the camo as well. You've got to be comfortable, even when you see the back of the glove. Sometimes when you when you're training. Um, so it's a bit different. I usually have a black palm, but he's just felt right, so it's happy enough to go with them. We've got the uh, the silicon inside, which stops your fingers slipping, and especially in pre-season when you get sweaty, it's. I think that's why I liked him at the start because I felt like um, even when we're training hard and probably more than we'd normally do, I'm still getting the grip and my, the gloves aren't slipping off my hands. And yeah, just sort of. I think you just. It's a goalkeeper. It's a very personal thing, but it really ticks every box for me. You only have to try the gloves to know the reason you wear the gloves in the first place because of the quality, but um, I mean obviously I've had them for three, three and a half years now and um, whether I was sort of playing or wasn't playing I was always looked after the same way, um, but the gloves keep getting better as well so you never never have to worry every, each year whether your gloves are going to be good enough, you know they are, um, and then when you're, uh, when you're wearing the gloves and they're being made for you, um, you, you can't really ask for anything more. Um, quite a lot, mainly not because of the wear and tear, because I throw them into the crowd. Um, sometimes an apology for my performance, but um, no, the, I, I, I don't know, probably, I don't go through as many as some keepers, I'd say probably 20 pairs. Um, I think that once you get a pair of gloves you like, especially matches, you sort of keep them to one side for the matches and, and, and the training ones sort of last a good few weeks because they're quite durable, so um, not as many as, uh, not, not too many. Yeah, I'm more like indie rock sort of thing, a um, bit of rap. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's more like sort of upbeat, positive sort of music, you know. I do like my, uh, I like Biffy Clyro, um, so I get a bit of that on and I go to my live concerts and stuff. So anything that gets you going and, and gets you feeling positive and good. Um, there's been a few that have sort of stood out when you look back for different reasons. I think I made a save against Van Arnholt in the uh, in the last derby when it was one or one nil down or one or um, sort of reaction save across myself and I think I made a good save uh, it was a sort of top hand onto the crossbar away to Everton um, I think it's more when you when you make saves at certain venues against certain players that stand out because it's a realisation to how far you've come um, I think I made a save at Old Trafford the first time I played there one on one and uh, I've still got a picture of it and like little things like that just, just stick out as a like the personal achievements. Yeah, I mean, there's a few really. I mean, you have your Schmeichels when you're very young, watching him because he was very different and sort of changed goalkeeping. And then um, Van der Sar, Shay Given, and Dean Kiley, obviously being Irish, and obviously very lucky to work with Dino when he was at Cholton, and he was just he was just top class keeper, and he sort of made me realise how important training is to get yourself ready for a game. You know, he, he was so committed, and his his attitude in training, and he he. Uh, it was a great for me at 16, 17 to watch someone like I don't think I saw a drop a ball for two or three years, um, and that sort of made me realise that's the that's what you need to do if you want to compete at the top level. Yeah, I think I think definitely like I don't think people truly understand um, unless they are a goalie the pressures and like the the sort of small percentages we work within. You know, like outfield players, strikers, all that they can miss chances, they can misplace passes. They can almost like not turn up, but if we do that, it's uh, well we can't. We just you just you just can't do that. And, and like I say, you have to put your body on the line sometimes, and and, and also it can be quite frustrating. You know, I had periods of time where I couldn't get in the team because another keeper was doing well, or because the managers didn't didn't fancy you. But you just have to keep working and keep keep going. Um, so I think that's why goalies. They talk about the goalie union. We all sympathise because we know this, the different situations you can be in, and we know how easy it is for people to to write you off or to, to criticise, so we always try and, I think as a goalie for myself, you always try and back everyone and, and you always try and side with the goalies because you know that sometimes you can do the right thing and it can still go wrong um, as a goalie unfortunately and you just have to sort of accept that and carry on. I mean like, I, I think for me, I was everyone has their own story, but mine was, I was always sort of told I was never quite going to be good enough or anything like that and I think that sort of drove me on to prove people wrong. I think the the thought of knowing that I can prove people wrong and that I did have the self-belief that I was good enough and and I think the biggest thing for that was just is just, just training hard and working hard every day. It doesn't matter if you're not good at something at 16 to 20 or even 22, 23. If you, if you work at it and you keep working hard, you will be good enough. Um, 
and I think that was the thing that drove me on was was the uh, was like the commitment to keep getting better and also to to prove people wrong in the fact that like I was getting written off because say when you, you get these young kids who are superstars but I was I was so far from that and like say when you have a few people that believed in you you, you sort of you, you sort of reward you reward that in training hard and, and sort of showing 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 like their like rewarding their faith in you um, which hopefully I've been able to do and um, hopefully I can keep going.